Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. In today's video, we're going to be answering the age-old question of how many diamonds do you get free to play in the game? Now, this is obviously going to fluctuate. If you're there every day for login, if you do every event, if you get every code, uh, you know, if depending on how you perform in Treasure Scramble and Arena will impact this. So there's a lot of variable factors, but I wanted to look at this awesome post. Now, I saw this posted, I believe it was Cero posted it in my Discord uh, probably like four days ago, and I wanted to cover it, but there's just been so much going on in the game um, that now I finally have a breather, and I was on holidays, but now I finally have a breather that I can make this video, and I really wanted to go through this because it's very interesting. So massive shout out to Zalan for posting this. Um, basically, last year, my brain's cooking trying to like read this name and say it. I always butcher names as Safarelia. I think I, I think I nailed that. I think I nailed that Safarelia. Anyway, posted, uh, made this post basically built a blank spreadsheet that people could take and throughout the year they could enter their da daily data on diamonds, uh, to try and find out what the daily income was for their accounts. Now, over here, uh, we've had Zalan and a couple others in the comments have actually gone and filled this out. Massive props to anyone who did fill this out. I, would, I wouldn't be able to do it on a daily basis. I'd definitely miss out. But fantastic work on them filling it out. And I wanted to look at some of the data. Now, like I said, there's a lot of variables when we look at this. Now, this post um, by Zalan, if we look at the spreadsheet, um, basically, we have the daily before and after of diamond count. Um, and as we go down the line, this is this one's a bit confusing. So gross is normally your general income, and then net is after expenses. So the, this was a little bit confusing to me, but this one's just supposed to be gross, and this one's supposed to be net. I don't know why net is in there before gross because it completely confused me. But that is the basic gist of it. And then you've got room for the rest of it, like you're, you're spending, like fast rewards, shop refreshes, like me, I would be using them every day. Now, someone in the comments did make the statement that, um, you know, maybe not using the fast rewards and shop refreshes has hindered a little bit of progression to earn more diamonds in arena and treasure scramble and stuff like that, which is a valid argument, but we're not here to criticize the way people play the games. I play the game incredibly stupid a lot of the time. So the thing I love about this post is, in that case, we could kind of look at this and and like he says, he says himself in the post, he doesn't spend a lot of diamonds, he's a bit of a saver. Now, that is not the quote unquote optimal way to play, but I am all about fun. You guys play the game the way you want to do. But the great thing about that is this gives us a conservative estimate, which is fantastic. So let's go over here, let's look at the post itself. As you can see, I'm not really a big spender. I like to use the lowest amount of diamonds. Uh, let me move my fat head over a little bit more. There we go. Now you guys can see everything. Um, <laughs> uh, as you can see, uh, I'm not really a big spender. I like to use the lowest amount of diamonds, even if it slows my own progression. So that's cool. No stress. We all like to have fun. And that is the most important thing in a game. My progression in 2022 can be divided into two parts. My spending from January to April pretty much only included select summons and stargazer pools in order to have the meta heroes built. By the 29th of April, I finally had about all the meta heroes. So I thought I would be cool to collect uh, 1 million diamonds because why not? I guess 100%. Very, very valid. I like the saving. It's a bit of fun, 100%. Then maybe a huge meta unit comes in, you can get it early as a free-to-play player. It's cool. I like it. Since the last spending, April 29th, uh, I've spent a total of 18,773 diamonds. Dude has spent zero diamonds, like 76 diamonds a day <laughs> across that period of time. Uh, the fewest di diamonds I've earned in a day is 358. The most diamonds I've earned in one day is 9,380. Keep in mind, we have codes, we have... Uh, uh, different events, you know, you can get a good chunk of diamonds. We just had the event where we got 2,000 diamonds. Maybe it was a big tower push if they're playing conservative, something like that. Um, uh, people in the comments were saying about the Voyage of Wonders that had 5,000 5, diamonds. That one brain farted. I thought, thought there was 3,000, but hey, whatever it is, you know, these things happen. I logged into the game every day, but about 10 times I forgot to enter the amount of diamonds uh, that I had that day. That's, that's perfectly fine. I will let you go with 10 days across the entire year. I, it's just permittable. When I did, I tried to remember slash guess the amount I had that day before. Sorry about that. No problems. No need to apologize. You're doing a great thing with this post. 
And then perhaps the most important question you might ask uh, when you see a table like this is, what is the average amount of diamonds a non-spending person acquires on average per day? In 365 days of the year, uh, I've acquired a total of 820,122 diamonds or on average 2,247 per day. Uh, there's a lot of other information in the spreadsheet. I think it's worth a look. Uh, feel free to ask questions. I'll try to answer them as quickly as possible. Uh, also, English is not my mother language, so sorry for the possible spelling and grammar errors. This always amazed me. When I, I, I love looking at these posts and seeing people say at the end, English is not my like my main language yet they do it so perfectly. It's like they speak English better than I do. Massive props to you, dude. Your English is fantastic, way better than mine. So that is the big number. Now, the one question I wanted to ask, but I'm on my other PC and I haven't been back to my other PC um, and I can't log into my Reddit because I can't remember my username or password. So uh, I wanted to ask the question, but I didn't get around to it because something interesting to see in this would be where were you when you started entering this data? Because I guarantee that if you did this as a brand new account, you would definitely be in the millions uh, of diamonds because in the early game you just generate so many diamonds uh, maybe it's more scrolls and stuff but you go through all those one-off events and stuff like that i feel like if it was starting from a fresh account it would be a lot more than this um so i'm really curious to see where they were at the start although then you do have the extra income from treasure scramble and stuff like that so maybe it'll balance out i'm not too sure but that's the one question i would have liked to ask um but obviously you know if you're looking at this video hit me up in the comments uh, i'd be very curious to see where you start i didn't see anyone ask that question question. Um, so 2.2k per day, that is very, very reasonable. That is like five, less than 500 short of a 10 pool every day. Uh, and then you've got to consider like this doesn't include the free summons we get uh, or anything like this. This is purely diamond income. And this is incredibly good free to play in my opinion i think this is a very generous amount uh, to be getting per day obviously it fluctuates per day you know you got burst events like christmas time obviously we get a ton of codes and stuff like that and freebies and events but you know to average out to 2200 is pretty solid um now duh, 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 uh 26 to 30 percent uh on treasure scramble. So there's there's a bit of a, a loss in it. Um, but this one here, this was another person who posted theirs. They got 972,421, which is quite respectable as well. So that is gonna rank, like crank that right up. But like like I said, uh, with this post uh, here from, sorry, I forgot the name already, uh, Zalen, like I said, he's basically said he's trying to save to a million diamonds. So not spending, not playing the quote unquote meta optimal game. Like he did go for the meta units, but not playing the optimal min maxi type progression, just there to have fun. So this is a conservative approach at the 2200 per day, which is incredibly solid. So definitely worth a post. You can check out any other questions um, that have come here, um, but it's very, very interesting to see that this is the total income that you can get as a free to play player. Now, obviously, Obviously, year over year, it's going to change a little bit. Um, but like I said, let me know what you guys think. Do you think 2200 is reasonable uh, for a game to give you as a free-to-play player uh, in diamond income? Keeping in mind, once again, that doesn't include any of the other resources that we get for free, being like stargazers, summons, uh, faction scrolls, purple stones, all that stuff. I think it's fairly generous to be doing almost a temple a day uh, of just general income currency and that's a conservative i definitely think there's some people out there free to play that would be earning a 10 pool a day on average which is pretty sick then you got the extra summons on top but once again let me know what you guys think i just thought it was a very interesting post to cover uh and massive credit once again to zelen and anyone else who filled out this spreadsheet for the entire year mad respect because i couldn't do it but anyway guys that is going to be for this one thanks for watching hope you have an awesome day and i look forward to seeing the next one cheers